So the shoes are off, and Javon is obviously prepared for this moment because your hair he is a little more grown out. That video. That's You're not getting an ready. Excuse. You're it's getting ready. Excuse. So before we do this, you've had some parameters that you need me to make sure that I check out. Yeah, what make sure his heels is on the ground. Okay, because there's a little history here? Yeah, definitely. What happened? Last time we measured up against the wall, I went first. Then he came right behind me and he stood up against the wall like this with his heels up off the ground. Mm. That's, that's, that's just savvy. In that's fact, savvy if you ask had, me. We had several of our, of our staff members okay. there monitoring the uh, measurement and okay. uh, as I said in the video Javon came up short now maybe he's grown since then I don't know you know I think uh, <laughs> I can't make excuses now he's certainly grown his hair yeah uh, but yeah, we got to make sure not to count that okay so he wants me to make sure I watch the heels are is there anything that you want to make sure that I pay attention to no let's let's, let's okay. see what it's all about and, let's go you know, back to back you, here we got you with your shoes off so as well. I get the loser so so you know whoever doesn't doesn't win this <laughs> at least <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, you're not being last <laughs> That's why I'm here. All right, back to back. Here we go. Right here in the center. Let's check this out here. All right, we got heels. Make sure those heels are touching. He's not hiding anything. You're good, Javon. You're Stand good. up, man. Stand. <laughs> oh, this is this is good. <laughs> but this is, yeah. This is, yeah. Look at his heels. Yeah, this is Javon, even with the hair. This is Javon by half inch. Let's go. Half inch. The champion, still undefeated, at least in this size. I'm disputing bracket. that. Javon Felix. <laughs> you want to feel better about yourself? You want to feel better about yourself? No, no, because you said in the break that you're 5'9". If that's, that, the case, that's, that's like verified <laughs> doctor 5'9". Definitely get, look, taller than you. Look, I get... Then, then wait, he's taller than me? Then, no, Javon, me. then Javon's 6'3", if you're 5'9". Well, let's go. Wow. Let's just see what it is. Let's just see what it is. Let's, let's just, just stand right next to him, okay? Yeah, I'm just sure we got it. <laughs> Come on. What? Come on. Come on. Don't walk off. Whoa. Don't hey, walk off. If you did measure uh, as taller, then, then congratulations, man. You're still growing. <laughs> Excuses already. That's Excuses. cool. Excuses. Be gracious in defeat. Hey, be gracious listen, in defeat. If one hey. of us was gonna be was gonna be still growing, one of us was gonna be taller, we would want to be the guy that, that actually is gonna take the court on yeah, Saturday. That's so, a that's a good point. Re respond, point. Best of respond, luck to you. Man, <laughs> so let's get into hoops talk now. And these are the numbers for Javon Felix, the ranks this season, third in scoring at eleven points per game. Best, the free throw percentage at 83%. Also first with three-point field goal percentage and second in assists per game. Let's talk, though, about the mid-range game now. Coach has the clicker out. We've got some film to break down. Let's get into this and, and really show which was a phenomenal move right here against K-State this week. Well, Javon did a great job in this first half of, of getting into the teeth of the defense and being aggressive. He's got a great spin move, and he's really finishing the ball well in the, around the paint. Javon, you know, with your, with your analysis here, all that size that we just measured, talk about your mindset here while you're attacking. Uh, I just want to be aggressive. I uh, know when I get in the lane, it's good for both me and my teammates. So uh, either if I can get a shot up or create for my teammates right there, I just – so happen to get open to, to make a, a floater right there. Now here's another one. Talk about the read here. You go back door, and uh, Connor does, does a good job finding you. Uh, so coming into this game, we knew that Kansas State were going to be very aggressive in uh, entry passes. And on that one, I just tried to time it to where my defender would, would go up further than I would so I can go back door. And uh, Johnson did a really good job helping. I just tried to get some separation by going middle. Now, you show a little bit of vertical jump here on, on, on this. What, what would you say you rank on the team in terms of your ability to get off the ground? Oh, man, I would think uh, I got, I'm, I'm not at the, at the bottom of the list by far. <laughs> oh. I'm up there. Uh -huh. I think Snoop is one. Prince might be two. Isaiah might be three. And after that, I think if you look in the weight room, though, if you, on the mirrors, the, the verticals are written on the mirror. Yeah. Uh, I actually did the vertical the same time he did, oh, wow. and that is one area where I do have him. We, wow. He's bringing up stuff we that we can't verify. We can't verify hey, that right we now. Can, we, can, okay. we can take cameras in there and look. Okay. We'll do it. Let's talk about playing <laughs> with Isaiah at the same time. Javon, how would you describe the connection that you have with Isaiah on the court right now? Uh, I think it's, it's definitely have gotten better uh, over the years because me and Isaiah have been playing together a, a long time, and I know um, – his tendencies just as well as he knows mine. And I know that Isaiah is an unbelievable passer, and I know what I can do for him by spacing the floor because, um, you know, he gets in the lane whenever he wants pretty much. Yeah. And uh, by me being a shooter, I kind of stretch the floor for him. So I'm just – I'm out there ready for him whenever, you know, he needs 
he needs to throw the ball out for me, and then my job is to knock it down. So, You know, the thing about it, Lowell, is when you have two guys that can make plays on the floor off the dribble, and then you have a guy like Javon that uh, can finish plays with his shooting and, and with his driving, it's huge. And Isaiah, when he makes a great pass, it's got to go in for it to be an assist. Yeah. And so Javon did a really, really good job uh, in a lot of our recent games of, of finishing those plays off. And then they, again, they kind of play off one another with their ability to drive and pass. So helping each other in the box score and on the court with those winning plays as well. Stretching the defense, this is something that we've seen since day one, really, in your career, the ability to hit it down from distance. Are you the best shooter on the team, Javon? Yes. Here he uh, he has a nice drive. So of course we, we show get him the this. rebound. Oh, no, but he he doesn't miss this one. Nope. And what's our rule, Javon? If you catch it on, out there on the perimeter and you're open, <laughs> shoot the ball. Yeah, got to fire. No hesitation. And you know, little Javon has done a great job of really you know owning that mindset of hey, if you catch it and you shoot, there's no hesitation whatsoever. This yeah. was actually the first play of the game when we played Texas Tech and we diagrammed a play for him to get an open shot. Texas Tech actually guarded it really well, but Javon caught it and shot it anyway. And it's amazing how when you have that type of confidence and you're in rhythm stepping into your shot, how much it goes in. Yeah, on that play, um, once he told me we were running it, I just kind of made it up in my mind. I was shooting it. And I, they played good defense, but I still decided that I was open enough. So And it, went, it worked out for me, too. And early in your career, I would jokingly refer to you as the best 33% shooter <laughs> that I've ever seen because I saw in you in practice and you were hitting shots like that consistently, but it didn't seem like it was translating to games. What has happened to allow that to translate now from practices into actual game situations? Um, I would definitely say my teammates encouraging me more. Um, I used to get down on myself about missing shots, and I think that was half the battle. <laughs> um, with making the next one. And my teammates would, would, you know, encourage me and be like, you know, keep shooting, we need you to make them. But it's, uh, I've really embraced that now. I just used to be caught up in myself thinking about how I missed it. But I know that if I make it, they happy and if they want me to shoot those shots. So um, it's, it's, it's halfway them and, and, and also just me continuing to shoot the ball. And it's working out. Want to go defensively you, now? You can give yourself more than half the credit, man. And, you know, I'll tell you what, defensively, Javon's been one of our, our best guys on the perimeter. And, uh, he, you know, we ask him to do a lot on offense, but here's a play where I believe he scores. Yeah, he puts in the basket here, and now we're going to defense. And as you know, we're, we're trying to press more and more. And we say, hey, let's get involved, get up, get up in that trap. You see Javon's all over the guy um, and, and creates a near turnover there. Uh, but here he does get a steal with a turnover. And, DB skill. You know, the thing about Javon, right there, right. you know, we might want to call Coach Strong because <laughs> yeah. uh, Javon has great anticipation skills and he has huge hands. Look and see how big uh -huh. his hands are. I would say I have average-sized hands. Look how big this guy's hands are. So, you know, maybe there, maybe next year, next fall, we can get him a tryout. <laughs> I like that. But see, here he runs through this pass, and it's great for creating offense for us. Did you play any high school football, Javon? Not really. Not really. I just need some work, Gabble. some drills. <laughs> yeah, and you'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. So here, here Javon uses his anticipation skills, and you know, on the perimeter, you got to always be ready for the next pass. He does a great job here of stealing this one and creating a fast break situation for us. And then we've got the big shots. North Carolina comes to mind, but that just seems like it's the next in a long line of, of big moments that you've come up big for this team. Going back to your freshman season even, what is it about the moment? Because it seems like you are one of those guys that is never afraid to take the shot when everything's on the line. Uh, I just look at it as something that I work on each and every day. It's another shot. Uh, it's another chance for me to just display what I've been working on. Um, we, we shoot the ball each and every day. We get a lot of shots up. Uh, I work on everything, really. And it's just me mentally ready for, you know, taking those big shots and those big moments. And, Coach, in hindsight now, looking back to this moment, what do you think it ultimately meant to the development of this team, getting to the point where it is right now? Well, that was a huge shot for us and obviously a huge win for us. And remember, Javon had played phenomenal in the game. It's not like he just it came in and moment. hit the shot at yeah. the end. That was kind of the cherry on top. But uh, for us, that, that game kind of showed our team, and I, I think it showed a lot of people around our team that we're capable of playing with and beating anyone in the country. 
since then, we've had some really big wins, and obviously moving forward, we want to continue to have big wins. So we can obviously see there's chemistry here. You guys have a great relationship <laughs> off the court. I think one day, competitiveness. I, one day I'm going to work for him. He's going to be the head coach of, like, uh, you know, the, the Pelicans or something. And <laughs> Back gonna, in Nolens? I, I'm going to be his assistant. What do you think about would that? Would you hire future? me? I would hire you. I would. I definitely would. <laughs> so, Javon, talk about the connection, though. I mean, when did it first happen? When did you know that this was a relationship that would work? Uh, I think the the turning point for me was when he came to our apartment. Um, he just came over there just to hang out, uh, just sat there and watched. I think it was the uh, Final Four last year. Just came and watched the, the game and just sat there with us. Didn't really talk about basketball, nothing too serious. It was just him being there and being with everybody else. And I think that was the part that was, you know, that, that really helped me for sure. Well, thanks for coming on once again. It's been Thank fun you. watching you develop throughout your four-year career here at the University of Texas and grow <laughs> vertically as well. Congratulations Thank to you. Javon Felix, taller than his head coach, Shaka Smart. It's official. It is official. We have more coming up on Game Plan.